Hello there and welcome. Today we have an exciting topic to look at. I know it's interesting to many of you because uh, while I was at the conference, uh, the WordFast conference, many people were asking for that so that uh, DeepL could connect to their CAD tool. So today we'll be looking at how you can uh, get set up on the DeepL um, website so you can get going and we'll be looking at how you can connect to one of WordFast tools which is WordFast Anywhere and you'll be able then to get going with using that tool. So let's begin shall we? So to get started with DeepL, first you get you need to get to uh, the DeepL website, and I'll have the link in the video description. And that's the landing page uh, for that link. And if you want to give it a try, you can uh, use the DeepL translator, which is free and is online. So you can come to this box here and type your text within the languages offered here, and that will translate in any of the languages listed here. So if you want to give it a try, you can type. Uh, or you can also uh, paste any text in there and that will give you a main option and a few alternatives maybe. And uh, so if you want to use it further and connect it to your CAD tool, you will need to click the, on this to get to DeepL Pro. Of course, uh, it's ready for uh, ZL Trados, it's ready for WordFast Anywhere, for Cafe Tran and a few other uh, CAD tools and um, in here you see what you get with DeepL Pro and uh, you will see here that it talks about integration into translation software uh, which is basically what we are aiming for because you will be getting an API key for that. So let's click on subscribe now to go further and here uh, on that page, you get here more information about uh, data protection. And here, that's where you have uh, explained the payment plan, which is 20 euros, only euros, uh, for 1 million characters, and that's per month. So that's a monthly fee. And uh, you can click on Read More to learn more about that. And then to get on with the registration, when, when you get to this box here, that's where you want to fill in, put your email address, password, and uh, all that. And so creating an account putting your payment details and then reviewing it. And then you will be given an API key. And uh, that's uh, a line of characters, basically. And this will enable you to connect your CAD tool to DeepL. So let's demonstrate that with WordFast Anywhere. So you go to the WordFast Anywhere tab, click on Setup. And here in uh, this dialog, you want to uh, find Setup Machine Translation. And in here, you get a choice and you want to choose DeepL, the DeepL tab. Here is uh, API key. Uh, it, that is where you will paste your API key. So that's one of the most important things to do. That's to paste the API key that you will be given. Then you need to click on Use DeepL, otherwise this won't be connected. And you, if you want, if you are using more um, machine translations, you need to set DeepL as primary if you want to do so. And then at the end, you will need to click on OK. So now I'm pasting mine, and uh, I won't uh, let you see it though. Uh, you can get a f uh, further details here, and uh, of course, uh, then you need to click on Test uh, to be able to check that everything is working fine. And uh, so you will be getting results and then you can make a try of your own. So if you want, you can paste text in this box uh, to make sure this is working fine. Okay, I'm too old for this. Why not? And you click on test and there you go. So I'm getting that in Spanish now. And if I want, I can even change the output language to French. Test again. So that's all working. So I'm happy with that. So then you can click on close uh, when you're done uh, and close that box. And then you will need to click on OK uh, in the other menu. And of course, uh, when you're all done here, you need to click on save settings. OK, and we see here that DeepL is now selected and active. And then once that's done, you will get this message about confidentiality, but uh, there shouldn't be any issues there. So you click on OK. Now I'm going to uh, put a file in there to test it. So that's uh, something from uh, Wikipedia about antibiotics re uh, resistance. So that's an interesting article, which is a bit challenging. 
as regard to language. And here is what uh, Deep Ale is offering me for my third segment in here. So if you want to pause the video and read, if you're able to read French, uh, you will see that it's actually rather very good. Uh, and uh, there's no problem with uh, tags insertion. So uh, this is actually running uh, rather fine. And um, so now we'll try to go on and see that in the following segment. So that's all uh, normal speed and there's no editing, editing here. So you will see that when you go from one segment to the other, as I just did now and I'm still doing, it is very, very, very snappy. So it is uh, very good. There you go. So that's quite fast. So uh, if you want to give it a go yourself, uh, you can uh, try it. So you just need to uh, fill in all that and um, you can try it uh, or you can try to copy paste some text as I showed you in the beginning. So here we are. So that gives pretty good results and that can be a help uh, for uh, translators that want to use uh, that. If you want to know more about uh, neural machine translation, I have a video that I have uploaded a while back, so you can watch it here if you haven't. And uh, if you want to watch more videos and want to be sure you're up to date with uh, what's going on in the translation world, well, make sure you subscribe right here. And I'll be seeing you in the next video, or rather, you'll be seeing me. Take care. Bye-bye.